What's up, Sunday fam? Welcome back to another video. So Squid Game. Now, a lot of the games that they play in this very competition are very self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. There are rules set to make it so that one has to lose and one has to win. But there's one particular game that I think you can beat, and that's the Stepping Stone Glass game. I don't know. Like, once the one guy figured out how to look into it, you know, he had to look at the reflections, the right refractions that was bouncing off of the of the glass, and he actually knew which ones were tempered glass and standard glass, uh, they turn off the lights. And yeah. so, well, okay, well, first of all, let us hear what your theory is. Okay, so it's not a theory. Um, barring any kind of like fictional reason that they would do things a little bit differently in this world, I, I actually coincidentally watched a glass making documentary <laughs> about glass making and tempering uh -huh. glass. And this was on the heels of watching a Netflix show or, or a competition about blowing glass. This is, it's just coincidence, but okay. I, I now know how to tell between uh, standard glass and tempered glass. Sure. It goes far beyond looking at the refracted light through the glass. Number one, if you're in the back of the line and you're going after everybody else and you're trying to remember the the pattern that mm -hmm. that people went through you just have to look at the feet prints because they're all barefoot mm -hmm. so there's gonna be footprints on the glass you don't really need to worry and then like if if they chose wrong that glass broke right so sure that's were, obvious <laughs> yeah so you can just follow the feet prints but if you're in the front of the line you have to tell which glass is tempered and which one isn't mm -hmm. now the guy who was on the right track he was looking at the refracted light because it refracts differently because of the deformations and the flaws in the glass. But you can also tell by the edges. Glass that is tempered and it goes through the process usually comes out smooth on the edges because it's sandblasted for tempering. So regular glass is gonna be rough. It's not gonna have that finished look. Like if you go to any type of glass around your house and it's got that smooth sandblasted edge, mm -hmm. that's because it's tempered. Mm -hmm. If you go to another glass panel and it's a rough rough edge just because it's just regular glass. It hasn't gone through any kind of process, hasn't gone through any heating, it hasn't gone through any tempering. So barring any kind of fictional reason that both panels would be smooth just to trick them, mm -hmm. that's how you can tell. If the edge is smooth and sandblasted, it's a tempered glass panel. And that's how you beat the stepping stone glass game. But what happens when they turn off the light? You could still tell if it's smooth. No way. Yes, you can. No way. Yes, you can. No way. Yes, you can. You can't tell if it's smooth. Yes, you can. Because they look exactly the same. Let's take a look at this scene. So that's interesting, you know, I think in that situation when your heart's pounding and your life is on the line, I don't think it's going to be that easy. I don't, make the, I don't, I don't make the argument being a participant. Because... Especially when the lights are off. I know that you could probably go and reach over, but like the glass on your left is already broken. So you don't have any leverage to actually even feel oh, what's going over there. Like what are you you'd have about? to be you'd have to be like super like amazing at your balance and whatnot. Like there's the metal beams that's going across the bridge, all that stuff. Like, yes, I guess you could technically reach over there find some kind of balance feel the edges and see if it's soft or not feel the ones in front of you feel if it's soft or not but like i think in that moment like i don't know yeah uh, th i mean that could that could you work. don't you also don't have to feel if it's smooth you can see a sandblasted edge of glass you can't see us you can't see anything can. if the lights are off you can and so uh, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know i can when your eyes <laughs> acclimate to the dark, you can still see things. Okay, well, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think it would be that easy to do that in that situation with the lights off? Element thinks he can survive. Uh, well, perhaps, that's that's perhaps. just because, because coincidentally, I was watching a documentary <laughs> on glass. If I were in the competition, of course, maybe I wouldn't have that knowledge. Mm. But I can see sandblasted edged glasses or or tempered glass. I but, can see yeah. their edges. But imagine, smooth. but imagine that you have seen this <laughs> documentary before you entered this good game. In that situation, I don't know. You could maybe you can see, maybe you can't. I don't know. It, it, it's very hard. You'd have to like actually do it have the lights turned off and see if you can actually see the edges because I don't know about you, but like when the lights are off, I don't see no edges of anything. Like it, it's impossible. All right, well, that'll do it for this video <laughs> on how to beat the Squid Game Stepping Stone Glass Game. If you have any other uh, theories or opinions as to how you could beat this game without having to just completely blind guess which panel to step on, leave it in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed our video and you agree with me, hit the like button and subscribe for more watching Sunday's Nation Entertainment and hit the bell notification so you know when we post new videos. But as always, look at the tempered glass edges. <laughs>